Can this city get any more cooler? What? Check out this car here. It looks like a toaster. <laughs> G'day and good morning guys from the beautiful country of Japan. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've only been in this country for probably about 11 hours now and my mind is blown. So today what we are doing is we are actually going on the ferry that is right behind me. So we need to go for a little walk down there. We just got off two metro stops from our hotel located in Shim Imamaya. So we also picked up one of these passes, which is something I definitely recommend you getting. It is 36 Australian dollars or 28 US dollars. And for one of these, you get two days of about 40 free activities and unlimited metro rides as well. You can't beat that. So come with me today as we explore Osaka. Japan is finally open for tourists. So let's go and let's have fun. and the air here is so clear there's no pollution we're in a blue sky day and it's long pants and jumper weather but it's not that cold the sun's out I could actually probably get away with wearing a t-shirt right now it is so lovely and I am so glad to be here in this country Okay, so we just picked up our tickets for the ferry. Unfortunately, it was fully booked until 1.30. So we have about two hours um, to kill um, until we can get on, but we do have window seats, which is really good. So right now we're gonna go to Osaka Castle and check that one out. One of the popular um, American sports here is actually baseball, believe it or not. The Philippines had basketball and here they have baseball. So yeah, who knew? But um, the Japanese love their baseball. So yeah, we just stumbled across this walk into the castle, but uh, yeah, I'll try not to get hit. So yeah, as you can see, this is a beautiful, beautiful country. It's so quiet, it's so peaceful, the people are so respectful. I'm like, I'm low T, like, I'm low key tearing up. I'm tearing up! <laughs> Just a little bit because it's like so different. You don't see, you don't see this high level of respect anywhere in the world. And it's like, I feel like the whole city has just done like a yoga session or something. That's how calm everyone is. It's so quiet, it's so nurturing. The trees are lovely, the sun is out. People are running, they're exercising. People look fit and healthy. And there's a train, <laughs> like look at this train. Radio, so we're walking up to the Osaka Castle now. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so excited. I know I keep on saying how excited I am, but I really am. Like, I'm not just putting this on for the vlog, guys. Like, I am very excited to be here. I've wanted to go to Japan for so long now, and I'm finally here. And this time, like, I've, I have this YouTube channel, so I can even share how I'm feeling and everything I experience. So, yeah, today's just going to be a good day. I love... People, something, something, smiley face. So this lady here, this cleaner, is raking up the leaves to say I love Osaka, 
in Japanese writing and then a smiley face at the end. <laughs> can this city get even... Can this city get any more cooler? What? Just a few fun facts for you guys. Osaka was, fa was founded in 1498 and the castle that we're going to now was founded in 1570. So let's go check it out. So believe it or not, this behind me is a shopping center. <laughs> yes, it has shops and restaurants in it right next to the castle temple that we're about to go to in this massive park here i tell you what japan just does everything on steroids everything is perfect grand amazing normally this would cost i think eight dollars but um yeah we get in for free with our pass so that's a bonus so there's actually a wishing well here just behind me so people have chucked in coins and even notes into the well uh, to wish for things and good luck but um we're just in front of the castle now so let's go in so we've just made it to the top of the castle and you can literally see all over the city. It is so nice today. Like the lovely autumn colored trees, this whole park and the moat around as well. Man, this is so nice. So when you're coming up here, there's no filming on the third and fourth floor. Um, so that's a museum. Um, the reason for no filming is to protect the rights of the artworks and the art in the museum. We'll be leaving the Google map links to everywhere to everywhere we go in the description as well um, so you guys can check it out when you come to Japan but wow like you can literally see the mountains so far in the distance that's how clear it is there's no pollution the air is fresh people are smiling birds are chirping what a great day These exhibits right here are using holograms. That's the first time I've ever seen holograms before. Oh my gosh, there's gonna be so much technology in this city, it is crazy. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, look at this stone wall here. That would have taken so long to build with these heavy big rocks and trying to align each one correctly and then have a straight top like there is here. The Japanese people are so good at engineering. So the innovation here is just so high. As I've already said, you're probably going to hear me say that a lot. Actually, quite a fun fact is the life expectancy for Japanese people is very high at 85 years old. And that's due to the low obesity rate in Japan and how they eat. Uh, they eat a lot of fish, a lot of plant-based foods, and that, and the high standard of living as well to 85, which is amazing. And obviously with a great healthcare system too. So yeah, you can really see that in Japan. It's super fascinating. So as we're coming back out now, the lady's doing another rake of leaves on the other side, saying the exact same thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we're just walking up to now some um, local street markets. So let's go check it out and see if we can find some food. Well, there's so many options. I do not know what to choose. And I don't know what anything says because it's all in Japanese. So um, let's see how we go. Radio, so I managed to pick up one of these noodle dishes with some type of meat and lettuce. Um, they didn't speak English, so I just pointed and I just said one. So I um, got some chopsticks too. Mm. 
So I'm about to use my first ever vending machine here in Japan. They have 100% orange juice, so I'm gonna get this one. You just put the money in, click what you want, and bam. So let's give this a taste. Made from the Coca-Cola company. Fun fact. Oh yeah, that is good. That is definitely 100%. Good stuff. All right, so now it's time. We're gonna get on the ferry, go around the uh, river here, so let's go. This looks very posh. Windows are totally open as well. Okay, how good is this? Window seat. I cannot wait. This is going to be so much fun. You can probably hear in the background as well, there's some really nice music playing. All white interior. Windows above us as well, so you can even see the sky. The sun is just glistening off the water here and it's really nice to just go around the city and see different buildings from different perspectives. We just went past the castle then as well that we just went up. So yeah, it's really cool. There's also fishermen on the side fishing and yeah, people just enjoying their Sunday. Rightio, so we just jumped off the boat then. That was a, uh, that was really, really fun. So right now we're going to a observation deck. We got to jump back on the Metro. So uh, yeah, let's go. So check out this tree here. There used to be a pole, well there still is a pole holding it up. Um, that looks exactly like this, but the tree has grown into the metal. You'd think when the tree brushed up against it, it'd sort of just move off, but it's grown into the metal. <laughs> Such a weird thing to say. We gotta go to Shin Sabashi. By the way, it is really easy to get the metro and trains here. Um, there's all signs in English, and if not, you can ask a staff member. Um, with the pass that we got, we got free metro rides. Otherwise, you can use the ticket machine to pay cash and just get a ticket as well. So don't worry, your first time will probably be hard, but after that, you should be fine. just came out of the main train station and we are right in the center now of Osaka so we just have a little bit of a walk to the observation deck but first impressions of the center it is crazy it is massive Japan vibes obviously but like all the signage the advertisements the people um, like people dressed up in business clothes you have people who like are wearing like anime sort of like costume stuff it's like it's crazy, the signs, the culture, the smells. <laughs> it's just, I'm actually getting a little bit of culture shock right now. Check out this car here. It looks like a toaster. <laughs> So this is the building we're about to go up to. Oh my gosh, this should be fun. Let's go. <laughs> Blown. 
So they also have a gate here filled with love locks. So if when partners or people get married, they can come and lock their uh, their love on, on this gate, viewing the entire city. It's pretty romantic, isn't it? Maybe one day I'll, um, I'll get to do the same. Rightio guys, so that ends today's video. Thank you for coming along with me and experiencing my first impressions of Japan being right beside me. Stay tuned for the next one because it's gonna be epic and probably the one after that and the one after that. <laughs> As always guys, keep it real. Cheers.